before we do start, funny story. I actually walked past you guys busking when I was about 16 years old in York, oh, and I've followed you ever since. So, uh, uh, this is really oh, weird for me. Yeah. <laughs> this is really wicked. weird. Uh, oh, baby, I'm a light left on. Still waiting for the moment. Burn steady and the fuse is gone. Hang heavy and I've blown it. It's Freshers Week here in Nottingham and this is Welcome Week Live, bringing you all of the latest updates here on campus. I'm Lauren. And I'm Danny. It's Monday night at Freshers. I'm Lauren from NSTV and we've come to Ocean to so what you guys are getting up to. Hello, it's been a long exam filled winter break, but we're finally back. This is something we've not tried before as a crew, but we've definitely enjoyed getting into the Christmas spirit. And what better way to combine everything than with a live broadcast? I've come here to Nottingham's Toby Carvery, because really you can't go wrong with a classic roast dinner, can you? towards the carousel I've got my eye on it I'm gonna try and get on with my chocolate coins will they think I'm just horsing around who knows Hiya. how much is it for one person can I pay you with these is that allowed <laughs> but it's so festive I just wanted to ride on the carousel <laughs> Diana. It's okay. apparently me and all of my five foot three and a half stature I'm too tall to get on that ride I've gone for the classic Doc Martin, which I'm not only rocking but also wearing as well. I bought my first pair of Doc Martins when I was 15 years mm. old and I thought it was really cool and I still wear them everywhere, like without fail. They just go with everything, so I can wear them with jeans if I'm going to work or I can wear them with a little skirt. Would you ever go out in something so figure huggy? I mean, maybe after a glass of wine. I need mean, <laughs> a bit of uh, courage for that to be honest. I love the texture of it, I love a good mm. textured dress and I think it really does set it off with the sparkle as well. It's just a really nicely tied up look. There's actually been very little information about the impact it has on students, particularly in Nottingham. At the beginning of the month, Theresa May stated that we would begin the formal process of leaving the EU by March next year, and that's only five months away. I'm James, I'm a drummer. I'm Alex, and I'm the bassist. And I'm John, the guitarist. Also known as King No One, and they're in Nottingham tonight performing at Bodega. Do you have any particular favourite songs to cover as well? Oh, yeah, we did a oh, right, cover of Pina Colada back in the day. Yeah, a wedding, yeah. Do you reckon you could give me like a little rendition now? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, the thing is, I'm, I'm horribly dyslexic, so I always get the words completely wrong, so That's it's like right. my words. I can forget that. Being the true British gal that I am, the, the highlight of this entire meal was the Yorkshire pudding. Absolutely excellent. So Nottingham obviously being home to Robin Hood. Of course. Does it bring in a lot of archers, do you think? Is that um, kind of what inspired you to get into it? It, didn't, it wasn't what it inspired me, but we do get a fair amount of people. If you like being a Galada, get caught in the rain. Oh, yeah. Oedipus the King being this tale of love, sorrow, loss, tragedy, and a little bit of incest. So Vega Bay is a bit of an interesting name. Where does that come from? Oh, yeah. We were originally called Ink, which was Sam's choice of the name. Do you know what's in the air? What's in the air? Great banter. We have actually found out that you are a school teacher. Yes. What do your students think about what you get up to outside the classroom? Um, I've not really advertised this one too much, just because it's slightly for a more mature audience. And it's for the infamous Nottingham sign, where you're guaranteed to get at least 15 likes and a selfie on Instagram. So, now that we've shown you all how to make a tame drink, we think it's time for something a little bit more alcoholic. Yes, yeah, so we thought we'd showcase Lauren and Danny's skills with a cocktail making varsity challenge. The challenge was simple. They had 10 minutes and very few instructions to conjure up the perfect mojito. And fair warning, it's not a pretty sight. This is NSTV's Gingerbread House for 2016. And this is what it's supposed to look like. And let's return to an old favourite on the panel now. Yeah, and I think last time we did this, little Lauren, you were actually covered in egg. Yeah, well, I've come a long way since then, Cam. I thought it was <laughs> time to pass on my varsity crown. I never promised you anything I couldn't do. Culture, surprisingly, <laughs> I'm the delight to he cage and ocean. <laughs> Are you okay, Lauren? You've had a little bit of a... Welcome to NFTV where you can buy all your lizards right here. <laughs> In the spirit of Easter, I might actually let you win this week. Hmm. No, I don't want your pity. Oh, I'm too late. I just want your life. Go on, try one, they're great. Oh, go on then. They're like smarties, but posh ones. Oh, they are posh smarties. Make a left, then take a right, then take another right, turn around three times and go backwards. <laughs> 